Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be back. I'm meant to bring forth some new teaching. Well, teaching that I have already done before, but I'm just reviving this teaching concerning dreams. Amen. Why are we not able to revive our dreams, especially when we pray to God? Amen. And we ask Father God to help us to recall our dreams. So we know now that the enemy is constantly monitoring us, constantly taking what does not belong to him. And we are to pray and fast and seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. So tonight I was just doing a little quick uh, Bible study and I came across the subject concerning why can we not revive the dreams. And it states that throughout the Bible we see evidence of God speaking to us via dreams whenever he desires to send the message. You have had a great dream but you have over time allowed these dreams to die it's time to revive these dreams that god has placed upon you amen for the word of god says in the book of jeremiah jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future Now here is the knowledge and the knowledge is this, we are lacking, we are lacking the understanding of why our dreams are always taken away from us. It's amazing how we can recall dreams that profit us nothing and the very thing we should recall, that's what the enemy steals from us. So this hour at the midnight hour, whatever time it is for you, I'm going to do this teaching and I'm going to pray and hope that this teaching will help you to understand the purpose and the plans that our Father has for you. But in the meantime, let us just get into some worship and trust in the name of the Lord our God. Amen. Amen.
Praise God. We thank God for the fire that can never be quenched in the name of his son, Jesus Christ. We should never allow ourselves to run dry. Amen. We must keep ourselves filled with the fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Let the oil burn within us. Amen. In the mighty name of his son, Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you for tonight's fellowship. Wherever, whoever you are, wherever you are in this God's world, we just give God the honor and the glory. We thank you for the word and the revelation that you are going to receive tonight. I pray this word will help you just as much as it has helped me. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. So as I was saying earlier, Father knows the plans that he has for us. Amen. Father declares his plans. God speaks the word that he is going to prosper you. He doesn't want to harm you. God has plans to give you hope and a future. Amen. But the enemy, Satan, he wants to give you poverty. He wants harm to come to you. His plans is for you to not have, not to have a hope meaning not to have faith amen meaning not to have a future not to have a purpose not to have a plan or a place where you could grow and be fruitful and many a times we have these dreams and I know I had these dreams but I always keep thinking about certain individuals that comes back to me especially a particular friend of mine who has these dreams and she's constantly forgetting her dreams or not recalling the dreams but tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I I release the word of God, not only over you, but over her and over myself and anyone else that comes in agreement with this prayer that our dreams will be revived. The enemy will no longer steal our dreams, nor sow seed of destruction in our dreams. Amen. It's amazing how we do lack the knowledge and the understanding to even know how to interpret our dreams. But we do know it is important to recall our dreams dreams. Amen. Just as we pray against bad dreams, it's equally important that we pray. Pray for pleasant dreams. Pray that our dreams will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray and believe and you shall receive. And many a times the enemy does not want us to remember the dreams. He does not want us to see our future, our destiny and see that we prosper. Amen. He doesn't want to see us grow in that place where we could begin to trust in the name of the Lord and see him do marvelous things in our lives. Amen. So the word continues to say in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, it says, and never forget that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Never forget that the fear of the Lord is 
is. And remember, is is an active word. It's a verb. That means God is always giving us wisdom. But we have to have reverence for him, honor for him, and believe and trust in him. Amen? We have to. Because it is God's will for us to be happy. It is God's will for us to be victorious in Christ. Because he is our Lord and he is our Savior. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, our host. Amen. So we trust in God and believe in God throughout the Bible. We see evidence of God speaking to us. We always see God speaking and sending his message. And the enemy is always coming to pollute the dreams. We have to trust and believe in God no matter what. Because God wants us to have wisdom. God wants us to walk in that place and enjoy the presence of his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. He wants us to. Now I'm going to give you some study scriptures. Some scriptures for you to take the time to go and study. For the word of God says in Isaiah 43 verse 16, 19. If God does not want us to be discouraged. God does not want us to forget his promises. God wants us to know he is at work for us. Amen. God wants us to to live our lives in with fruitfulness with the fullness of his holy spirit because he is the one that can make a way out of no way amen so god can revive your dreams just like he did with joseph in the book of genesis chapter 37 to chapter 40 amen so those dreams can come to pass but the enemy he comes to obstruct the dream because he doesn't want those dreams to give you directions or instructions so you read the book of Matthew Matthew chapter 2 verse 13 because just as we see with Joseph his dreams gave him instructions his dreams prepared him for what was to come amen and a lot of times as I have stated in previous of my teachings we share our dreams with the wrong people Satan assigns certain individuals to us to monitor us to monitor where we go what we do who we hang out with what we eat what we drink etc etc amen to prevent the dream from coming to pass god promised us and he continues to keep his promise to pour out his spirit on all his people that we will be able to have prophecy and that we will have we will have dreams amen and visions amen these words are in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2 verse 17. We are to believe in the name of the Lord and trust in him at all times. Because God is good. No matter what, our Father is good and he's good to you and he's good to me. In the name of his son Jesus Christ. So let's pray and believe in God and know that he will revive the dreams. Amen. God will revive our dreams. God will bring forth our salvation, our deliverer, as we pray and repent in the name of his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Father God, our Lord and our personal Savior, we thank you, Lord. That's right. Just begin to agree with me. For you are the way, Father. You are the way. And I thank you, Father God, that you gave your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to forgive us of our sins. Yea, God, I bless your name, God, and I thank you, Father God, for the person we have become and still becoming. We're still growing. We are being rooted in our faith. I thank you, Father God, that we are no longer doing the things that we used to do. We're no longer doing the things that, that is not acceptable and pleasing in your eyes, Abba Father. Yea, God, we thank you, Father God, that you, Lord, only you, Father God, is reliable because you are our strong tower father god you are our hiding place and so father we boldly boast in you father god we boast in you because you are wonderful god you are victorious father god your name is everlasting to everlasting father god and because of that father god we are a child of god we are your servants god we yield ourselves and surrender ourselves to you father god just like daniel did just like daniel did so father we just bless you thank you for the anointing and we thank you for the power of the blood of jesus christ for your word say father god it is written in first john chapter 1 verse 8 if we claim to be without sin 
We deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Father, please forgive us. Forgive us for wherever we have fallen short and the things that we did in your sight that was displeasing. We repent, Heavenly Father God. Father God, I thank you right now. You made a way where there seemed to be no way. In so many circumstances in our lives, Father God. Father God, you are the way maker. You are the Lord of our salvation. And we thank you. We bless you, Father God, for everything which you continue to do, Father God. We thank you for everything, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your mercies and your grace upon our lives, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that we are no longer blameless. We are no longer filled with blame. We are no longer shame. We have become blameless and shameless because we testify your son, Jesus Christ, because in him there is no condemnation. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. So, Father, we thank you that you will revive the dream. So, whoever you are, wherever you are, begin to confess that Father God will revive your dreams. Amen. Father will revive your dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. But you must pray. You must repent. You must pray that the enemy's lies and his deception will not prevail against you or anyone. Amen. Not even against your dreams. Not even against the plans and the purpose that God has for you. He will not hinder you. He will not block you in the name of Jesus Christ. But pray that God's will be done. Pray that the Lord's will will be done in your life. Amen. Pray that you will be you you will be vindicated by fire. Amen. For the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because the enemy wants to bring seeds of destruction in your dreams. And that's why many of us, when we go to sleep at night, we have numerous dreams, dreams. And as soon as we wake up, we don't recall the dreams. Because the enemy comes at night. While they sleep, he brings seeds and he sows them. Amen. And we have to begin to set fire to the tears that he plants in our lives. Tears of destruction, sickness, disease, poverty, whatever the problem is, we must set fire with it, with the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We must destroy every seed that the enemy is using to hide and to create fear in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Fear in women, in men, in children. And we must rebuke the spirit of fear because Father said, I didn't give you fear. I didn't give you the spirit of fear. I gave you the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we renounce and fall out of agreement with the lies of the enemy. We renounce the lies that they have been feeding us for such a long time. So, whoever you are, begin to renounce and fall out of agreement with the lies, with the spirit of deception that has been planted in your dreams, in your thoughts. Because God is mighty and strong and bring those thoughts into captivity. Amen. Bring them into captive. Amen. Because we don't want to sit here and not be active. Because if we don't do something and pray with the word of God, we will start believing in the lies of Satan. And we will begin to lose our hope. And when we lose our hope, we no longer have faith. Because now faith is the substance of things hope for. The evidence of things not seen. So we must not allow the lies and the deception become our reality. We cannot eat from the enemy's table. In the name of Jesus Christ. These lies come now to discourage you. These lies come now to bring addiction, suicidal thoughts, unforgiveness, stagnation, limitation, failure, the disappointment, unbelief, and other contrary spirits. Amen. And we must arrest those spirits now. So whoever you are, revive your dreams. I arrest every demonic spirit, every demonic seed that was planted in my dreams. I arrest you now i uproot you now you be bound and be destroyed forever in the mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen that's right say you be arrested every spirit that comes in my dreams to bring forth discouragement addiction suicidal thoughts unforgiveness stagnation limitation failure 
disappointment, unbelief and other contrary spirits be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Begin to speak it. Be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Be arrested. Be uprooted. Be bound and destroyed forever. In the name of our Lord and Je- Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Begin to pray like that. When you cannot recall your dreams. And you want to revive your dreams. Begin to pray like that. Because let me tell you something. For those who are listening to me. I don't know how far people go in these messages. But I pray tonight in the name of Jesus. You will hear the fullness of this message. A lot of times the enemy is doing spiritual warfare with you through these lies. Spiritual warfare is discouragement. Spiritual warfare is addiction. Spiritual warfare is suicidal thoughts. Spiritual warfare is unforgiveness. Spiritual warfare is stagnation. Even when you are having financial distress, that is spiritual warfare. Even when you're struggling with stagnation and limitation, failure, disappointment, unbelief, and other contrary spirits, these spirits are planted to bring forth warfare in your life. So it's so important that you renounce them and remove the lies of the enemy. Do not allow the enemy to feed you food of destruction. Do not drink from the enemy's table because you begin to believe his lies and lose your hope, lose your hope and the touch of the reality of what is true and what is pure and what is love. So in you, woman of God, Man of God, whoever you are and wherever you are in this world, command those unclean spirits that manifest in your dreams to be arrested, to be uprooted, to be bound and destroyed forever in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take authority of yourselves. Take authority of your dreams. Dedicate yourselves every day upon the altar, the holy altar of our most high living God. Commit your will to him. Pray in times of distress. Give thanks no matter what. Because when you give thanks, God will strengthen us. He will strengthen you. And you will begin to seek him more and more because you know just as well as I do. He is the solution to our problems. So, Father, we thank you right now. We bless you, Father God, as we thank you for the administration of the angelic assistance. So, Father, we pray for the administration of angelic angelic assistance, the angels, to come now to locate you, man of God, woman of God, to locate your homes, to locate your workplaces, your schools, or wherever you are, because we are calling on our angels to protect us because they are mighty protectors they are warriors in battle in the name of our father the son and the holy spirit we pray amen that's why we ask for assistance that's why we ask the angels of god to administer to us to protect us to protect everything about us and this is the time we must cry out to god and ask Abba Father to protect us and to deliver us from the snail of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence, in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ. So, Father, we thank you for your word. <laughs> we thank you for reviving the word. Come alive, come alive, come alive in me, Holy Spirit. You are welcome here, Spirit of the Living God. Revive the dreams, Spirit of the Lord. Revive the dreams. Let their dreams be awakened. Let it be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We choke the seeds of destruction. We choke the tears of destruction in their dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that they will identify and begin to recognize who is lying to them. And they will fall out of agreement with those demonic spirits, with those foul spirits, in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word say, God, in the book of Job 33, verse 14 and 18, for God does speak now one way, now another, though no one perceives it in a dream, in a vision of the night. 
When deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds, he may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings to turn from wrongdoing and keep them from pride, to preserve them from the pit their lives from perishing by the sword. I pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ that your dreams will be revived. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, Prophetic Utterance. God bless you.